once you've fabricated your duct into sections, now you need to put the two duct sections together and do the circumferential joint with staples and tape. We begin the process by standing this, this duct up with the male side up. I'm going to take my green handled knife. I'm going to rest it down on that ship lap and just pop it through the facing. That will, that will cut the facing without going too deep, which might lead to air leaks. I'm going to fold that facing down. Now some people prefer to cut these corners down at a, about a 45 degree angle. The only thing I'll caution you about is when you make that cut, don't come clear back into this duct and cut into the inside surface. So keep your knife out there. You don't need to cut off a lot of material. Some people find this is, makes it a little easier to join the two sections. Now I take this section, I simply turn it upside down, set it on the duct, push it into place, making sure the paper is not in the joint. I pull it down. Take my stapler and I put staples in two inches on center. I go completely around the duct. Then I apply the pressure sensitive tape. I keep the tape centered on the edge of the stapling flap. And I'll just wrap the tape completely around. When I get back to this side now, I want to overlap the tape a good three or four inches at least. And then I begin to rub the tape down, making sure it's well sealed. You can tell when you've rubbed the tape enough, you begin to see the scrim pattern from the facing come through the, through the tape. Now that we've squeegeed the tape down, we have a, a an airtight seal with the pressure sensitive tape. The strength of the tape has been tested for, for two inches of water pressure uh, constructed ducts.